Right, so I got my blood test done the other day. Lots of people have been recommending it, um, including Ash, who is quite obsessed with blood. And um, I thought, you know, let's have a go year vegan, a little bit more than a year. Um, and I thought, you know, let's, let's see what they all like. So I got my results, as you can see here. Um, Dr. Baker gave me the results. So go to B12, not looking unbelievable. We're in the good range, but quite low down the good range. Um, so I do supplement at the moment, but not consistently. But potentially, might do some injections, not sure, um, but yeah, probably will do. Um, there's some more details about B12 here. Um, it's quite good, this Thriver thing, it tells you like every month, so if I had one the next month, then it would tell me. Um, it says that it's very reassuring because you consider, yeah, all the rest of it. Um, but it's basically saying this is what the symptoms of B12 are. Um, and if you're vegan, it's slightly harder to get B12 um, because you get a lot of B12 from meat, which is the animals are normally um, supplemented. Um, but yeah, so if you're vegan, basically the best way of getting it is fortified food or supplementation. Um, it doesn't really exist. It's from bacteria and it's sort of been eradicated due to commercial farming products. Anyway, ferritin, um, pretty solid. This is more like iron levels. Folate, again, pretty solid. The HB1, A, A1C, they couldn't uh, measure, which is a bit odd, but I'm gonna get that done. Lipids, pretty chill. To be honest, half the stuff, like I mean, my triglycerides like, aren't that high, um, which is calm. Uh, cholesterol, all looking chill. And then, yeah, going to my liver. Um, again, very chill. Globulin's quite high, but apparently that's all right. Vitamin D, um, despite living in the UK where we get absolutely no sunshine for half the year, uh, it is okay levels of vitamin D. So that's, uh, I was surprised about that. Then they gave you some little things, so saying like, um, if I'm vegan, which I am, because I like you put in your vegan, um, it said that I should do maybe more. So you can basically add things on. So if you're worried about your omega-3 and 6, then maybe you could have a test on that. Um, and then if you're low on iron on B12, you can do the full book blood count. count. Um, and then there's some other things that they recommend. Um, but then, yeah, H, but then also if like, for instance, I probably won't do my liver stuff again because I feel like once you've got that, it's probably all right. I probably will do vitamin D again. Um, but anyway, it's pretty, pretty good to know that my blood is okay. Um, it'd be interesting to see what my hematocrit is. Um, but I guess I'm, I don't think they do hematocrit on this because it's a quite variable thing. So if you just did one test, you might suddenly get like really low and be very worried. Or um, you might suddenly be, yeah, like you might, I don't know, because a lot of the blood tests, obviously, they vary quite significantly day by day. So I guess the ones that when you just take it once a month, um, it's better if they do um, it in more of like ones that aren't going to vary too much. Because if you had one that could vary like, you know, within the hour, then it's slightly pointless doing a month blood test because you might just get, the results wouldn't be particularly accurate. But yeah, here are the ones, so saying maybe I should do different sort of tests, get rid of some other ones. But yeah, there you go, year vegan, blood's absolutely mega. Um, but yeah, B12, I think, will try and supplement that, get it higher, um, just for athletic performance as well as just general living. Uh, but yeah, folate looks all right. Ferritin is basically iron and it's pretty solid. It's not like top, top, um, but it's still pretty decent. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you have any more questions about my blood or anything, or if you want to do it, um, I'll try and share some link which gives you 50% off. Um, your first one um, is pretty spenny to be honest, but I feel like probably do it once a year, like might as well, maybe more often if you're, if you're low on anything and just see that you know, you're not deficient of anything. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you do enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.